Okay, g'day. Um, my name's Cam Blake. Uh, thanks for tuning in to my uh, YouTube channel. So what I'm going to do tonight is, um, and it is tonight, it's actually uh, raining heavily outside and expecting snow here in, in Hobart very soon. Uh, I'm going to do a review uh, of a bag that I've been sent to uh, test out. So uh, thanks to the guys at DigiDirect in Melbourne, uh, my old stomping ground, our old workplace many years ago. Uh, thanks to the guys up there for sending me this bag to review. Uh, they know that I do a fair bit of hiking around Tassie. Um, obviously, I do the overland track photo tours. Uh, so I was very interested in this bag. Um, it's an F-stop Sucre bag, uh, S-U-K-H-A. Uh, it's a the big orange one over here. So I've been using um, when I do my multi-day hikes. I generally use about a 60 to 70 liter backpack uh, to do those walks on. Um, at the moment, I've been using uh, another another brand of bag. But for most of my um, overnight photographic uh, walks that I'll do or hikes that I'll do um, I generally use what I have here which is the f-stop uh, Tolupa bag um, that's a 50 litre bag which is this one over here um, which is a good bag fantastic bag um, they come with if you're not sure about the f-stop bags uh, the f-stop accessories and bags they come with uh, what they call internal camera units or internal compartment units or ICU which is pretty much a, uh, a storage system and it's almost like a camera storage system and divider that goes into the bag. Um, they're, they're amazing bags. Uh, out of all the bags that I've tried, I, I find these F-stop bags to be probably the most comfy on wearing, as in way of strap and, and waist strap. I find that they're just designed really well. Um, and again, I'm, I'm not being paid for this, this uh, review. This is just something that um, out of the hundreds of kilometers that I, that I hike, that I've noticed over the years. So um, but this is the old one. This is the one I've had this for years. Um, and, and this is the new one. So it's a, it's a lot bigger. Um, it's a 70 litre bag as compared to the old one I got, which is a 50 litre bag. So in comparison to the bags that I use for hiking the multi-day hike, such as the Overland Track, which is a five to six day walk, um, this is what I was interested in. This is why uh, I think I've been asked to review it is to really test it out over a multi-day hike. So not just an overnight hike, um, something that's um, a multi-day hike where you've got to take clothing, food, or your camping gear, camera gear, uh, and every other little bit of piece that you take with you. So um, it comes in a few different colors. Um, I got given the uh, big bright orange one, which I don't mind, means you can get seen quite easily. Makes for great little selfies on top of mountains if you want to wear a red jacket or a, uh, an orange pack, you stand out pretty much well above the rest of them. Um, again, it's similar design to the last bag I had. Uh, it's just a bigger brother version and a newer version. Um, I haven't had a chance to really walk out overnight with it or, or further, which I'm hoping I might do on the weekend uh, to maybe do an overnight or somewhere up in Cradle Mountain. Um, but this, the strapping system again is really, really good. And, and um, many years ago I used to work in, I used to manage an outdoor store in Melbourne uh, and used to um, size people up for backpacks for, for many trips such as backpacking through Europe or coming down here in Tassie and one of the biggest things that you know was, was the biggest deal was getting the pack right for the person um, I've tried on many packs in my year in my, in my years um, and I still think these ones have got some of the best shoulder strapping system and waist packing system um, this one's a 70 litre as I said it's got absolute litres of capacity um, for everything so inside um, it's got 70, 70 litres of inside internal um, capacity and it's also got a whole heap of side pockets, top pockets, front pockets um, and down the other side as well. Um, they are a brewing bag and uh, I'm really looking forward to, to trying it out. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll go through and show you the internal camera system and a few other features of the bag. All right, so what I'll do now is, um, like I said earlier in, in the piece there, is uh, what they call the ICU inserts that go into the f-stop bag so pretty much what they are there's just a compartmental organizational system uh, keeps all your camera gear in one spot uh, allows you to you know change around what you take out on the trip sometimes you might want to take all your lenses and, and bits and pieces other times you just want to go lightweight and, and see what you need to take so um, what they are uh, they, they come in a variety of sizes so um, as always there's a small medium and large um, this is a small one uh, it's also a medium one and the one I've been sent with the bag is the large one, so medium to large. So pretty much what these systems do, um, they're, they're like any other camera bag 
in a, in a sense is that they've got all the compartments all there. You can, you can conform them to however you like, uh, put in whichever structures you want to do. Um, but the joy of these bags, which is pretty much what put F-stop bags on the map many years ago, is that this compartment fits straight into the bag. So that compartment actually slides straight in. So you've then got your camera bag pretty much all inside this backpack, out of the elements, protected, well padded, uh, and ready to go. So another great feature of these bags, which once again is why they, they got put on the map, I think, is on the back, generally on the backpacks you just have your, your padding. Um, a lot of systems have like an, an air rating system or a ventilation system where the, the back sort of curves a bit to let the air between your back and the backpack. Uh, they do a similar thing with this foam packing and there's, there's some grooves in there to let the, let the air come through. But what's awesome about these bags is that straight away you can open that up and you've got access straight away to your camera system. There's also a whole heap of uh, little holes and bits and pieces and pockets here to strap things in there. But if you're out and about, you put your bag down like that, your gear is your gear's safe from the elements, safe from getting damaged, and your access straight into your camera gear straight away. And when you're done, you zip it up, put it back on and you're on your way. So it's, it's awesome in that way, but what, what's really good about this bigger bag is if I'm doing the overland track or if you're doing a multi-day track where you, know, you do need that 70 litres, um, I'll probably, if I do the overland track with this, which I'm planning to do, I'll probably not take the large um, component there, I'll probably take the medium or small component. I generally travel with just one or two lenses on the overland track and my camera, um, but you also need room for your, your, your camping gear. So um, this is what's great about this camera bag. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll quickly just uh, pause the video, I'll put the small one in there as I would take it, and I'll also show you what else I can load up into this bag for a multi-day trip. Alright, so what I'm going to show you now is uh, how I'm looking to pack for a multi-day trip. Um, it, it doesn't have to necessarily be a multi-day trip when you need all your camping gear. Um, one thing that people probably lose track of it is if with the multi-day trips, you know, your camping stays the same and your clothing stays pretty much the same and it's just a matter of taking extra food for those extra days. So whether or not you're doing an overnighter, a long weekend or something like the Overland Track which is a six day one, um, you know, these, this system is going to be really cool to be able to use. So whether or not you're using, um, that's the other thing, the gear, what size gear you're using. Um, I'm an Olympus person. Uh, that's a cheeky plug for Olympus. Uh, I'm using currently the EM1 Mark I. Uh, I've got about six lenses or so that I use with that, plus the one I'm recording on. And pretty much I'll take a tent, uh, sleeping bag, sleeping mat, clothing and food. So um, if you're using a Canon gear or Nikon gear, one of the, one of the larger brands uh, with the DSLRs, then you might need to go something like the medium size pack. But um, for what I'm using, uh, this is the, the small one. Now it doesn't have much uh, room inside. You'd think that you know, if you use, like I said, if you're using one of the Canons and Nikon's, you could probably get away with your body, batteries, filters, and a lens or two, depending on what size lens you go. But pretty much what I'll be taking is a uh, Olympus camera, chuck it in there, uh, a couple of standard lenses, and uh, maybe my big telephoto into there. So that's pretty much. Um, a lot of my camera gear in there, batteries and filters would just easily um, fill in the gap somewhere. Uh, so once again, chucking it straight in the, in the system there. Um, that's a perfect system, it fits straight in, uh, like I said, you get that access. And that's the other thing, regardless of what size uh, insert you're using, that back zip compartment I showed you in the previous part, um, it gives you access to the small, large and medium ones. So it doesn't matter what size you go, you can always get access to it. Um, I find these are really cool bags for when you're doing an overnight or a multi-day as well, is that um, if you pack yourself, um, packs, pack well and, and pack smartly, you can actually component yourself in the bag quite well, layer what you want. So you know if you're not using your, your stuff until later in the day, you can put that in the middle section of the bag and that all gets access from the back as well if you zip it open. So, so it's pretty cool like that. Um, so what we'll do here, um, this is my little one-man tent, um, that could go in there. Um, the poles, uh, the poles I'll probably put on the outside somewhere, um, just just for being just for safekeeping. Something like sleeping bag, straight in. Um, sleeping mat, straight in. And obviously my little pillow. Um, so automatically that that's filled up pretty much, probably eighty percent full um, of the internal section. 
Um, but what that does, it allows that there's still a whole heap of room in the front, in the top. This one's got a, a, a very impressive, uh, where's the zip for it? It's got a very impressive uh, top section, which is a lot better than what I um, originally remember from the last one. But it's actually quite deep and quite a lot of room in there, so, so that's really cool as well. Um, what I'll do next is I'll just go through the other compartments of it, and then after that um, I'll get some footage of uh, myself you know, using it in the elements. Alright, so um, next thing I'm going to show is just the, um, like I said, we've got 70 litres of internal um, capacity, which uh, for multi-day hiking, that's, that's pretty much stock standard. Somewhere 65 to 75 is about stock standard for most backpacks for when you're hiking. Um, 70 litres is a really good number. Uh, like I said, it allows you to put, um, even just taking out your camera gear and using this as a normal hiking pack, um, this, is, this is going to be fabulous because 70 litres will really get you all your things you need for a multi-day hike. Uh, which is great. Um, so external pack, uh, external pockets that it's got, um, which are one, once again very impressive. Um, the other thing I've noticed about this backpack compared to the older one that I had, um, the zipper system uh, looks like they've upgraded the zipper system where um, it's a hell of a lot easier to open up the zips. They're a lot more free moving, uh, bigger buckles, uh, bigger zip buckles. Um, they just seem to be a lot easier. The other one I used to struggle a bit getting the zips open and you had to really sort of take the bag off to get everything out. This one, so far when I've loaded up and just walked around the house in the backyard, um, just to get gear out, seems a lot easier. So um, probably the second biggest compartment up there, ex excluding the internal one, is the uh, front one. Uh, so once again, this has got heaps of room. Um, plenty of room for maps, uh, filters, whatever you want to put in there. Um, when I pack my bag, you know, I might use this one for clothing or even my food stocks in there. Um, but once again, this is quite a large compartment. Again, you can fill that up quite, quite, quite a lot. Um, each side of the bag also has um, side compartments. So if you un unhook those, you've got these, which actually Velcro out as well. So they become a bigger compartment again. Uh, again, you can stick heaps of stuff in there. Again, that could be food, uh, it could be tent poles, it could be um, anything in there, parts of clothing, uh, whatever you like. Like I said, it depends on what you're doing with it. Whether or not you're going for a multi-day hike or an overnight hike will just depend on, on what you use it for. Uh, on the other side, you've also got an exactly identical side pocket to again. Uh, as with every good backpack brand, it's got um, access to your, your water bladder. Uh, that's just a zip. There is a water bladder compartment down the back of the bag, so you slide your water, uh, water tank in there, hose out there, keep hydrated. Um, and again, like I said, the top one, the top pocket, I'm very impressed with. Um, it's just quite deep. Um, again, you could almost, uh, if you're being smart about what you're eating, uh, you could almost put all your snacks in there, or if you're doing the hydrated meals that a lot of people do when they hike, you could probably put three or four or five of those hydrated meals in there. So there's your dinners or your breakfast covered there. Um, but overall, um, so far I'm super impressed by it. Just uh, build quality is really good. Like I said, they've certainly improved their zipper system. Um, and as I said, there's also a little, sorry, while I'm talking, there's another little pocket down there. Um, the strapping system, as I said from the start, I've always rated F-stop bags to be um, quite good, especially there. It just feels comfortable. Uh, it doesn't slip. Um, they tighten, they stay tight. It's nothing worse than walking along with your waist belt and having to tighten it up every kilometre. Um, these seem to do the job really, really well. Um, there's plenty of options as well, like these straps, you can put things on the outside. Um, there's also other things that you can hook into the bottom down here. So a tripod you can hook on the outside, tent poles, uh, whatever you may need to take that extra. Everyone's application is going to be different, everyone packs different, everyone takes different stuff on, on multi-day hikes, as I've noticed. Um, but so far, really impressed with it. Um, again, thanks to the guys at digidirect.com.au. Uh, my, old, my old guys up in Melbourne, thank you for sending this bag down. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to thrash the hell out of it pretty much because that's what you're meant to do with these backpacks and uh, hopefully get some good images coming through from where I, where I take off to. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll put some footage up of it um, just fully loaded and walking around. It's always good to see how big they sit on people. Um, I'm a short fat guy, I'm about 5 foot 7, about 80 odd kilo. So um, for me it's a good size. Um, you can adjust also the strapping, it's also got all the adjustments that you need, uh, which is very important with a backpack, but I'm really super excited about this pack, I'm looking forward to taking it on the overland track with myself and my clients in November, uh, I've got another one coming up in January if you're interested, uh, which we're taking bookings for, uh, and I'll probably just use it as my throw on the back of the car bag uh, when I'm doing big trips, uh, like I said with the large ICU, I can take my entire lot of gear in this bag 
as a day pack and just put some extra clothing and some snacks in there and my water bladder. Uh, and you can pretty much carry your entire camera system on your back. Uh, whether or not you're walking, uh, whether or not you're riding a bike, uh, or if even if you're just traveling around in a car and you're just doing a little multi-day, a little small day trip somewhere, uh, this is going to do the job. But it's a great bag and I'm looking forward to using it. Okay, so um, just got back from doing the uh, Kelly Basin trip. So I've walked about 8Ks, they're about to return, didn't get all the way in. Um, I was here a couple of weeks ago and, uh, and found it was uh, a beautiful track to come and take some photos. So I thought I'd come back, test out the Sucre bag um, from F-Stop and uh, give it a go. So I can certainly report that this bag is as comfy as I thought it was going to be with the load. Um, I'm pretty much loaded up, got all my, all my camera gear, uh, extra clothing, a bit of food and a, a bit of a drink in there. So we're probably sitting about, I don't know, 8 to 10 kilo in, in the pack. Um, doesn't feel like there's 8 to 10 kilo on this pack so uh, again it's a super comfy pack um, super easy to access your gear um, it's been quite wet in the forest here today it, it's stayed dry um, once again the zipper system has improved you can open up and get into your zipper system real easy um, so yeah it's, it's a fantastic bag I, I, I would highly recommend if you're looking for an overnight bag or a, a longer multi-day type of bag this is uh, this is one to look for um, they are uh, they're well priced as well in, in relation to buying a big backpack you can pay hundreds of dollars for backpacks uh, this one retails i think for around about sort of 300 odd dollars australian uh, and the inserts depending on what size you go they, they'll range from probably 50 60 dollars up to maybe 100 dollars but uh, thanks again to uh, digidirect.com.au in melbourne i uh, really appreciate uh, giving the bag for a review um, hope i've done it uh, done it justice and uh, f-stop bags thank you um, you've, you've created another beautiful product so um, thanks again. Uh, we'll do another gear review when we get uh, when we get something else to look at. But thanks for now.